Hello, and welcome to Pixel TV's live stream of nothing other than Dead Rising 3 on Xbox One, which you can see right here. This is my console plugged in. I'm ready to play. I'm Nicholas Astrup from Pixel TV. This is Leonard from Pixel TV, and we will be taking you through this hopefully awesome co-op experience of playing Dead Rising 3. What are your expectations for this game? I do not know. I probably know that for a fact it will not be as awesome as any Left 4 Dead experience I've had, <laughs> which is also pretty hard to uh, compete with. But hopefully it's going to be good. I've played it for a little time now, we both have. And uh, it seems kind of like the zombies, no, maybe the Saints Row equivalent in a zombie game world thing kind of it, deal. It, it's very uh, wacky. Yes. It doesn't really take it, take itself seriously. Pixel TV's live stream. Oh. Hello. Oops. Uh, uh oh. Inception. I'm watching myself watching this. That's crazy. You always like to watch yourself, don't you? Exactly. I touch myself when I watch myself. That's my motto. <laughs> well, you listen to yourself. No, no, I don't need to. I just need to watch oh. myself. Then I can wink. Okay. Uh, I think we have to get going. Yes. The only reason why I have this open is, of course, because that you guys can comment and uh, you've already done that and as you can see uh, the first statement in uh, the biggest letters possible is of course a guy called Philip I heard he's a jerk he says uh, in Danish um, hello man we want to see some tits <laughs> can't give you titties boy but you can suck my titty I know the guy so he can always suck my titty he knows this but uh, you can of course ask us questions when we're playing um, I think we have to get going we need to show you guys some gameplay. What we're going to do is, we're going to take you into the uh, Xbox user interface now. And uh, here you can see, if you haven't seen the live stream we did yesterday, we played... Um, oh no, the Germans are coming. The war is starting. Yes. Or is it the zombie invasion? Hopefully, that would be awesome. No, but if you haven't seen our Rise Son of Rome stream from yesterday, uh, in that stream you'll be able to see uh, just a quick look at uh, the user interface itself on the Xbox. We're not going to go too deep into that today. Today we're just going to boot up Dead Rising 3. And we're going to start off with some single player action. And um, and then we're going to switch to co-op. You have to play a certain segment of the game to be able to play co-op. Um, so that's what we're going to start off. I'm going to start off by playing that. And uh, in this game we're playing as the character Nick Ramos in uh, the footsteps of the previous games. Uh, this is a new character that we're gonna play. Uh, he's new to the franchise, which is awesome. Look at this great logo. There's like a zombie instead of the hole in the D. I love it. And remember, we're also gonna live stream tomorrow. We're right now debating what we should do. People want us to live stream more games at once, which I think makes perfect sense. Streamception. Exactly. We're probably just gonna play a, a couple of games and switch as you guys please, um, because we're still lacking uh, games like um, NBA 2K14, which is a brand new game uh, in regards to next-gen consoles and the previous version. And uh, I think we're going to play some Forza 5 as well. Yes. Maybe some Xbox Fitness. <laughs> I right? would love to see you do that. I would love to see you do that. We okay. can do it together. Exactly. Uh, but let us know. Give us your questions. I'll be trying to watch as we play. Um, and let's see if, uh, if you guys are having as much fun as we are, hopefully. We're going to enter the story mode. Later on, we're going to be playing some online. Leonard is going to invite me to his co-op game that he started now. And here you can just see uh, selections in a second. We're just going to go back to uh, where I kicked it all off. But these are some of the selections that you have to choose in regards to how you want to play the single player. And ultimately, this is just, do you want other players to join your game or not? If you uh, choose these different things, it varies. Maybe you're the guy who wants to just run through everything and play the main missions or maybe you're the guy who want to see everything then you want to be the completionist and uh, I played as a single player because I don't want anybody annoying me I hate when people join my game and I have no clue who it is so uh, I'm not gonna do that anymore people saying Killzone would be awesome it's 1991 Tyrant and we are looking into how we're gonna be able to stream on the PS4 it's a bit of a challenge right now seeing as they have to do a new patch for us to be able to use the software, seeing as we don't use Twitch uh, or other services that they want us to use, we use YouTube, uh, seeing as we're streaming partners. So hopefully we can do something something later in the week or next week so we can play. But right now we're gonna go start chapter zero. 
And let us know in regards to sound as well. If you want more in-game sound, we'll try to level it up. Leonard is our technical genius who will help us out in that way. Uh, that was a water burp. Bless you. Thank you, sir. Peter Gore would like to know how long are you going to play? Probably around an hour's time, maybe a bit more. We don't know yet. Philip Rasmussen is doing sad faces all over the place. That's my buddy. My little buddy. Buddy, buddy. I miss you, buddy. <coughs> okay, uh, my, my intestines are acting up. So here you get some uh, info on what's been happening. I'm going to let you guys enjoy this for a second. Apparently, the city's not doing too well. And how do you like the game so far? Just as we're waiting for the game to kick off. I like it. I like, mm. like, the, I like the wackiness of it, the mm. weird uh, weapons you can make, and like the whole like the crazy part of it. It's just silly fun. Mm. And um, yeah, earlier I was driving around in a steamroller and just killing hundreds of zombies. It's, it's and very, who doesn't like that? It's very satisfying. Yep. But the... The firearm seems very uh, weak. It has a very big uh, focus on melee combat. Yeah, because the thing I noticed instantly when going a bit further into the game, I picked up an M M4A1 assault rifle, and I think I shot a couple of zombies, and then it just imploded. Yeah. Which. Um, it's like when you run out of ammunition, it just it just breaks. Yeah, exactly. Which doesn't make sense, seeing as it's a combat rifle. I get that you want the stuff you use to kind of slowly kill itself so you can pick up new stuff and try other stuff. But that's just retarded. There has to be some difference in what the length is life-wise for, uh, for the weapons you use. Also, magazines is completely out of the question. You can't change the mag or anything. No. Like, oh, not, an, not yet at least. No. Yeah, but Pools would like to know, what, what's the resolution we're running? And I'm translating questions right now. Remember to write all your questions in... Uh, English, seeing as that is uh, what we're streaming in, so other people... Well, some people have started to call the Xbox, the Xbox 720p. I'm not sure, to be honest, mm -hmm. about this specific game. It should be 720p. Or 1080. Yeah. How often do you stream, Anton Banner would like to know. Well, usually it's like our Monday thing, but seeing as it's a next-gen mania, we felt that we had to step up our game a bit, so that's why we've been streaming two days in a row now, and we'll probably stream tomorrow as well. Um, and hopefully stream some PlayStation 4 later in the week. If not, we'll just continue probably with uh, some Xbox action. Monster Gaming is saying, kill some fucking zombies, dude. Seriously, man. I want to kill some fucking zombies. But I have to play this goddamn segment for you guys to see it, man. Okay, so now I have to eat some snacks because my face is hurting. I need more than that. He needs more. Mm, picking bagels up from the floor. That would regenerate your life faster. Bust that thing down. Uh, this is how I open gates. And we have to replace a lot of gates. Yes. Hard? If you press uh, the right bumper, you'll be able to see your inventory, and this is where um, you're going to be able to see the upgrades and uh, combinations of things that are going to be available once you reach that point, which we will do soon. Um, this start segment is somewhat um, boring-ish, so I think we kind of have to get going somewhat fast just so you guys can see some real zombie action, but we just want to show you how the game starts. This is the... The gate that cannot be destroyed unless you're using heavy attacks. And to do that, you just have to hold down the Y button as he attacks. And that's also how you stomp the face off zombies, which is pretty cool. My name is Grate. It's saying, where are you guys from? Since your accent. We are from Denmark. Yes. In uh, Scandinavia, Northern Europe, the world. Where are you guys from? Let us know. What do you think about the looks of the game so far, seeing as we played Rise yesterday and Rise visually had a really next-gen feel to it? How does this feel? It's still pretty. There's a lot of zombies and the screen at the same time. 
sometimes, which is very impressive. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 not really it's not mind boggling, but it's no, it's, it's pretty good. It's maybe it's probably impressive in the way that you're saying that there's a lot of stuff happening on the screen as yeah. you're going to see later, like right and now. Exactly, but also when you play mm -hmm. the game and there's zombies all over the place. You can see it here. There's a lot of zombies in there, but when the world opens up and we have to fight them, uh, it still manages to hold up pretty well. I haven't experienced any lag at all or anything in regards to this or drops in anything. People want us to turn a bit more up from the in-game sound. Ale sure. Alex Brutal. Brutal. This is what uh, kind of drains your health is when a zombie uh, gets a hold of you. Then you just stomp his arm off. That's the best way of doing it. Axe time, fellas. I love that. It's so extremely violent. And limbs is just flying. It's like a golf swing. Lidman has a question. Yep. Is it an exclusive game for Xbox One? That is correct, sir. Yes. You have to own an Xbox One to play Dead Rising 3. That I Push the dolly. Exactly. Hello. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, hey, zombie. Uh. That is absolutely retarded. Yes. You can, of course, use your fists and your legs to annihilate enemies. Where did my axe go? Lost my axe. Sucks ass. That doesn't matter because now I have a gun. Okay, so we should probably just get going. This is how I jump off everything. With style. Exactly. With panels. And now we have to choose another spot for this thing. Hello, hello. So this is a short segment that we kind of have to play through to just show you the games probably. Probably. More uh, questions. Yes. What the hell? Lost, you know, is asking, is the main protagonist's background just as random as no uh, the other games in the series? Question mark, smiley, yes. Kind of seems that way. There's not a whole lot of meat to the story, but um, what does it matter when all you're going to do is just slice the face off some zombies? It's not a game I would play to expect a deep and uh, immersive story. Let's just uh, leave it at that. Monster Gaming DK would like to know: Are you streaming from the Xbox to YouTube or what, Leonard? That's a question for you. Tell what? tell them about our setup. Well, basically, we're using three different capture cards in a computer to capture two different Xbox Ones and a camera. So that's like the the simple simple answer to that. Cool. And just a quick fact: Black Magic Intensity Pro. Boom. Pro is what we use. Pro. Oh. Where is Pro Gear? Pro Gear. <laughs> and people are asking why they should write in English, and that is, of course, because this is the stream in English. I know that we are not from an English speaking country, but that doesn't matter. The stream in English, write in English, or else your questions won't be, won't be taken up for an answer. Ouch. Oh, that's a good fall. Ugh. One of those days. Anton Berner would like to know what do you think about the graphics on the Xbox One versus 360? Well, this is obviously a huge gap in regards to just uh, pure visual quality. It looks really, really good. This game is not the most visually stunning of the bunch. I would say Rise, if you haven't seen our live stream from yesterday, watch that one. That was a lot more visually stunning. And also NBA 2K14 that I've been playing is, is really visually stunning considering uh, it being an X-Gen game. 
Also, what you should keep in mind is that games, unlike the first batch of games on a new generation, doesn't all, it never looks that great. Like if you compare like the first games for Xbox 360 versus like the later games, there's a huge gap in, gra in graphics. Yeah. Even though the, the hardware didn't change. Yeah. That is true. Um, Anas Markusen would like to know how much does it take advantage of the Kinect? It seems as if it does it in the same amount that pretty much all the other games does. It has gently integrated it into the games. You'll see uh, places where you have to hold down a certain button to do something. And when you can do that, that's mainly where you can use the Kinect feature. Uh, when we played Rise yesterday, it was to let your army know that it was supposed to attack a certain place then you could either shout this command at the Kinect or you could, uh, well, just hold down a button. I tried shouting it, it's pretty fun, but I mostly end up using the feature for uh, recording gameplay. Uh, it records and deletes, I guess, your gameplay all the time when you're playing. And uh, it's always possible for you to gain the last 30 seconds that you've played. Uh, which is pretty cool if uh, you've done something cool within the last 30 seconds because then you don't have to stress out about saving it. Simon. Black -la -la. Black -la -la. Black -la -la. He says, do you think that the PlayStation 4 could handle the graphics of Rise? Yes. Well, yeah, obviously. They're pretty much the same hardware-wise. There's, yeah. like, the difference between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One is so small, it's, it's basically not there. Exactly. Okay, so I always use motorcycle engines. Just pave my way. It's very effective. Exactly. A burning zombie, get away. Can you He's save a pretty Emily? strong dude. Nope, no. couldn't. Actually, uh oh. Uh oh. I was pressing B. That wasn't good. Run, friend. And you get punished for not doing your quick time event correctly. Exactly. Not like Rise that we played yesterday. Yes. As you can see, Dan was on that truck and he just got blown up. And Cindy's over there. You can choose to save these people uh, as the. Well, I think As the bastard I am, I won't save anyone but it's myself. It's almost impossible to save them. Pretty much. But if you manage to do this, well then, sometimes they'll just uh, follow you in whatever you're doing and they'll help you out. Which is of course uh, pretty nice, pretty neat if, uh, if you could use some help in certain situations. Seeing as I have a motorcycle engine, I don't need anything. I'm just gonna bash heads in. Uh oh. When you catch fire, it pretty much sucks. Oh dear lord. Oh no man. Oh shit. Stompy stompy. I'm kinda annoyed that when the animation comes for kicking faces in, he just puts the motorcycle engine in his pocket. It's kinda stupid. Oh no I die. I'm sorry I was focusing on, on the animation. That wasn't good. Game over. Thanks for the stream guys. <laughs> That's bye -bye. all for today. <laughs> no. no. No, just kidding. Just kidding. There's a lot of questions. Yes. Let's just do one from the top. Yes. Patrick uh, Cullerton would like to know, have you installed the game on uh, the hard disk or is it running from the disk? Well, the thing is with the Xbox One, you have to install every game. So um, Just like the PS4, just to be clear. Exactly. And it is, I think this game is uh, one of the milder ones. The thing is, it's like 34 and a half gigabyte. <laughs> where, Mild. Exactly, whereas other games is up to 40. So, um, so yeah, you have to install it, which is kind of, I would, if I was a consumer and I wouldn't get the disc in hand, I would just buy it online on the store, download it, seeing as it's going to take up that space either way. So just download it, then you'll have all your games. That's what I would have done. Bought them online in the store. And, and then you don't have to worry about uh, having the disc. No, exactly. In the tray. Now I'm going to show you guys how I came down to this spot in the first place. This is absolutely retarded, but this is the fastest way, because I'm guessing that you want to see some co-op action fun. Bombs are going off all over the place. I'm just ruining. I dare you to run into that jet to the, engine. To the jet engine. I don't think it would do me any good. I'm so close to it. So right now we're just doing the great escape. Okay, let's see here. Alex Burdell asks us to... Uh, Change the menu so like with voice commands, but you can't do that because there's no connect connected. No, 
Uh, I, didn't, I probably didn't tell you this before we started, but we're not going to be using the Kinect integration at all. If you want us to, we could uh, look into doing that for uh, maybe one of the next live streams, because yes. of course it would make sense. But um, as it is now, we, we don't intend to, uh, to use the Kinect, seeing as it is mostly still a gimmick in, uh, in some ways, mm. until we, for example, would like to show you guys how we get gameplay uploaded and stuff. But right now we're just focusing on playing some games and showing them to you. And right now I'm just taking the easy way through this mess, obviously. So I can get over to Leonard and we can get to play some uh, co-op fun. Anas Markerson would like to know if you can feel the difference between the two controllers, the old Xbox and the new. Um, well, yeah, for sure. Um, this feels lighter. It has a lighter feel to it, but it's, it's actually okay. I don't mind at all. Um, it feels really, really good. I uh, used the Xbox One controller at E3, and I think I must have um, picked up a weird, weird, weird one. It must probably have been used a gazillion times mm. because it felt really bad and plasticky, kind of like what the PlayStation 3 controller was back then, um, which to me was a shame. But um, but apparently. Uh, that wasn't how the real controller turned on because I really like this one. Here you can see him just. I think my biggest complaint with the controller is that they didn't decide to go for like the mini jack, so for, for go for mini jack support on uh, the controller like the PlayStation 4 yeah. or the DualShock 4 to be exact. Yeah. Because on the DualShock, you can just plug in a headset and you can get the sound from the game directly through the controller. Yeah. With Xbox, you have to use a custom adapter that won't come out for a while. Exactly. So that's annoying. That is annoying. And, and that headset issue is probably one of the only things that we've really been missing while using these new consoles, I guess. Yeah. At least for my... Um, that's my opinion. My name is Grady. We'd like to know what do you think about Minecraft. We absolutely love Minecraft. We have a great yes. story to tell you once, Leonard. <laughs> Leonard burned down our entire goddamn city called the Shire using lava. Thank you, Leonard. Oops. You'll probably get that later in some other stream. It is cry-worthy. Let me just tell you. We spent a million hours on that city. We love Minecraft. We've been playing it on PC, which to us is pretty much the only way to go. I don't know. I've never played it on Xbox or yeah, any of the sucks. tablet versions or anything. We love it. Um, Remember to ask your questions in English. This is an English-speaking stream. Uh, we are Danish games media, but uh, everything we do on YouTube is in English. You, all the videos you're going to see is in English, and so is the live streams. So uh, please, no other languages than English, seeing as there's people from all over the world, or at least the possibility of uh, being people from all over the world watching the stream. She got her titties out. They both do. They're going to titty it out in a second, probably. She's doing the rockabilly thing with her bandana. Clearly a, a Crips gang member. Anton Pano would like to know, can you survive a big wave of zombies just by smashing the attack button? Mm, yeah, it kind of seems so. Right now, the only thing that you have to think about is, of course, that you can't get grabbed from behind. And uh, so they can't really 100% surround you unless you're moving in circles yourself. And also, your weapons are going to die out. So at some point, all you're going to have left is your fists, with this, which probably won't do you any good in the long run. So, uh, yes and no, I guess. The classical people acting like idiots. Exactly. Oh yes, bite my hand. Oh no. They're just giving me a little tummy rub. I think they went a little bit deeper. Yeah. Mm. Intestines. And he's vomiting green. Maybe yeah, they should ask that guy how he's doing. Litman97 would like to know for how long will you be streaming tonight? Uh, probably, I don't know, half an hour, an hour or more. Depends on... Uh, what happens right now? We've reached the safe spot, and uh, in a second we'll be able to boot up some co-op action. 
They just need to get over into the garage. Exactly, we have to uh, do a little driving sesh and um, and then we can show you some co-op action. Okay. Sledgehammer, yes. And now we can see the whole customization thing. Now we picked up these two items. So you can go in here and it tells us that you can combine these two things together. Do you want to make a sledge saw? Fuck yeah. Let's do a sledge saw. And Chinese techno music is banging out as you uh, customize this thing. Now get ready to run. Is that dude smoking? A dick? Okay, you gotta leave the back door. That's just dick. Smoking and being a dick. Hello, friend. This is an absolutely amazing weapon. <laughs> yes, that looks amazing. And this is kind of like other zombie games. How can you get tired from customizing things and just smashing up things at will? It's amazing. And there's another question from Alex Buerdale. Yep. Will you live stream four to five? Um, what we're thinking about doing it tomorrow. We're thinking about doing a multiple game live stream tomorrow. Look at this, guys. Hello, friends. <laughs> and Anas Markusen asks. Yep. At the moment, which console do you think is the best? And do you think hello or and is Xbox One? Backwards compatible with Xbox 360 That's a long question. Just to answer the last part first. No, it is not backwards compatible. Um, which is, of course, sad. But it's a big technical thing that is the reason as to that. And uh, what was the first part of the question? Which, which console? Yes, which one is the best? I don't know. I've been spending my time a lot on uh, the Xbox One. And I like it. But I was spending a lot of time on the 360 because I like the interface as well. And I don't know, it just feels more awesome when you unlock an achievement on the Xbox compared to unlocking a trophy on the PlayStation. Design-wise, I'm probably more liking what PlayStation is doing. But, um, but just general feel-wise, I don't know, I just like the Xbox. I think you should, it should come down to two things. You should look at which platform is your friends on and what games do you want to play. If you want to play Uncharted and the Last of Us, well, not that's last gen, of course. But if you want to play the exclusives that they that Sony has, yeah. then you have to do do that. But if you want to be able to play Forza and Halo and all of that, then you have to find an Xbox. Exactly. That is true. That's what it pretty much always comes down to. I remember when I was younger and I had to choose all my friends had a PlayStation. Well, then I got a PlayStation because we wanted to play online together. And that's, that's the type of choice a lot of people take as well. They just choose whatever they feel like makes sense for what they play and what they like to play. And that's probably how it should be. Oh no, Jody! Do you want help? I'm gonna back away so you die. Boom. And this is pretty fun. Jody is dead. I just know she was gonna die. She never had it in her. To survive this. Alex Burel saying, okay, cool, I'll be back tomorrow. Good job, guys. Well, thank you. And uh, see you tomorrow. Champions League time, if that's what you're going to do. Lost, you know, is saying Pixel TV. If you're fond of Dead Rising, what are your thoughts about the soon-to-come zombie game called Dying Light? I look forward to it. Yeah. How about you? Uh, I actually saw some gameplay at the Gamescom, and it looks pretty cool. Mm? It looks like a more polished version of uh, Dead Island in some ways. Mm. It is the same company who's making it, and yeah. uh, it's got a pretty big graphics bump, mm -hmm. considering the whole next-gen ordeal. So it, it looks looks very interesting. Has a lot of potential. Nice. And who doesn't like zombies plus mirror search? Exactly. How awesome weapons. does that sound? 
This wasn't supposed to I happen. like it. None of this was supposed to happen. We need some news. Well, we there's another question. It's Peter who's asking us, um, how's the story in the game? Well, the story seems okay. You don't play this game for the story. You play to just slaughter zombies all over the place. So don't do it uh, thinking that you're going to get an immersive, amazing story with a great plot. At least I don't know yet, but that's not what I'm thinking about is going to be in the game. No. I'll be quiet. We're going to skip ahead and now we're going to play some co-op action. So you guys can get to see that as well in the last half hour of our stream. This is the perfect beginning to if you're going to watch Champions League football tonight. Uh, soccer. Because we're going to take you right through it. Right up to the beginning. Maybe a little bit into, into the game as well, if you're watching it all. And Alex is saying exactly he's going to watch Champions League. Miss Quet Un Club. That is obviously a Barcelona. Barcelona fan. You like Barcelona? You like Messi? Messi? I can hear you. I can hear you in the radio. Can you help? Are you a cop? And this is what I mean. The story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. Annoying. I mean, it serves a purpose. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So uh, right now we're gonna see if uh, Leonard is gonna be able to um, ask me to join his game. You should be joining right now. <gasps> really? Well, let's see. I'm running in circles of excitement. Yes. I'm so happy. Mm. Okay. I wanna play. I wanna play. I have absolutely no patience on playing. And I have to say, from all the Lawrence titles, this probably has the longest loading times. Yeah. It seems. Even though it is installed. I just entertain people with some uh, mayhem. Ingeman FC is saying it's called football unless you're a America fag. That is true. That is true. Football is, of course, soccer. No discussion there. We agree, brother. Litman97 is asking, is it easier to be social on the PS4 than it was on the PS3? Uh, I think it was, slash is, a big problem with the PS3 compared to the Xbox 360, which was so easy to get access to. Communicate with your friends. You've, you've probably used the PS4 more than I have. I've pretty much been stuck on the Xbox One. What is your uh, thoughts on this? I haven't really used social aspects a lot, but it seems to be a lot better. Like you can uh, now you can do cross game chat, so you don't have to be in a specific game, and just generally the whole the whole uh, social part of it works a lot better. You can see like a news feed of what people have been up to, and you can see, for example, if they uploaded a clip or something. It is almost like a, a mini version of Facebook. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It seems as if the sharing options on the PlayStation 4 is much better yeah. than on the Xbox. I tried uploading a clip from Rise. And what I had to do, I had to download this Upload Studio that they have for the Xbox One. When I've downloaded that, I have to find the clip that I want to use. I played Rise, got a clip, I then put it into this Upload thingy-magig. And when I did that, I had to trim it and make sure it was as I wanted it to. And then I had to upload it to my SkyDrive, which is also something that I have to download for the Xbox One. And which is their cloud feature. When I did that, I then had to go into a website and say, yes, this is me who wishes to do this. And then I could access my clip on a computer and then share it, which is ultimately retarded if you want to share a clip. I just want to push a button and then bada boom, it is connected to my Facebook, Twitter, whatever I want to connect to and upload it. So um, yeah, that doesn't really make sense. But right now what you can see on the monitor is uh, Leonard in his shining armor, riding around, just killing and uh, hopefully I'll join him soon. As you can see, the loading times are insane in regards to this. It might be a bug, not really just... Yeah, I don't know, it took a long time before as well. Oh, if okay. not, I'm gonna try and exit the game and enter again. Yeah. 
And another question. Anas Markusen would uh, like to know, what are the biggest problems you've experienced with the Xbox One? Um, a lot of people have been talking online about that it has some issues in regards to the voice commands on the Kinect. I haven't experienced any of those and I've been using it a bit. But uh, I haven't been using it on TV, for example, so I think that's probably where the problems are going to occur for people. But uh, I haven't had any problems when using it uh, in games or in menus. Um, besides that, there's been some clunkiness in the user interface itself, but that's minor stuff. And pretty much all the stuff that I think we've come by is, um, is minor stuff that could be easily fixed with the software update, which is probably going to arrive at some point. So. Um, that's probably going to sort itself out. Well, this isn't taking long. <laughs> Jesus. That's weird. It worked fine before the stream started. Exactly. And then we go live and then nothing works. Well, you know, the, the law. What can go wrong will go wrong. Patrick Cullerton is asking us, Christ, are you still waiting on loading times? Yes, that is correct, sir. Maybe we should just try quitting the game. Let's see if anything happens here. If I boot it up again. At least you can enjoy Leonard doing some uh, craziness in the game. Mass Crest is saying hi again. Well, hello there, sir. Winter777 is asking us if he knows how many places in Forest will be at the Danish launch on the release Friday. We have absolutely no clue. We do not work for PlayStation or Xbox. We merely just live stream. So uh, we don't know, man. Sorry. Sorry about that, sir. But my guess is no. <laughs> exactly. Please don't ask us questions about where you can get stuff from store-wise. We have no clue who has PS4s or how many, or how many Xbox Ones when that release. We cannot ans answer your questions, sorry guys. Because we do not know. But Anton Baron is saying cool stream anyways. Well, thank you, man. Thanks. We are glad you like it. So what I have to do now, I have to enter my own little game here. Wait for some more loading times. As you just drive around and slay zombies. Uh, Lost, you know, says there's a rumor about that Sony is only shipping 700 PS4s to Denmark. I know that to be false. I know at least one store, is on one chain, is getting a thousand. Yeah. So that's just one store. Cool. There you have some facts. We are crusher of facts. And zombies. Yeah. But apparently not loading times. I wish. Oh Jesus, I'm getting so restless. And now you're getting killed. Oops. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hooray, hooray, please invite me to the game. Are we still in a party? We should be. I do not think so. I have quit the game. Oh, no, you were added, was added to, to the, the game. game. Yes. Player is joining. Game found for your party. Let's hope that the loading times are going to be better now. I really want to play because not playing is not fun. I need some food. <laughs> that hamburger looks fine. Anton Banner would like to know what chain are you talking about, Leonard? That has a thousand. Fucking PS4s. Well, they are selling them overpriced. I'm not even sure I want to mention them. Uh oh. Beef. You might as well mention. Okay, Elkiken. Elkiken. Elshirp. This is all relevant if you're in Denmark. If not, well, yeah. then this talk sucks ass. So sorry if you're not from Denmark. Okay, I'm in. Woo! Yay! All right, all right, all right. Oh. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dick. And so when you jump into another person's game, you're gonna instantly uh, take the role as Dick, the guy who was smoking before in my game. I am now that guy. That's why I'm gonna pick up a beer and just drink it like I fuck this shit. 
Okay, so Lena, can you just briefly tell us what we have to do here and what this is all about? Right now, we have to uh, pick up three different spray cans. I just pick, picked up the last one. Yep. And then we have to return to Anna. Okay. Let's see if you can uh, join me on the steamroller. But I want to make this dragon. Well, go for it. Oh, this is going to be sweet. <laughs> this is going to be sweet. Oh, God. Yes, build this mecha dragon. Oh, yes. Yes. Oops. Uh-oh. Hello, friend. Damn, I blew up the steamroller. This is fucking awesome. Okay, so when I do my forward roll, I, uh, this is really funny, but also really stupid. Lena, where are you? Right behind you. I was flying the second floor. Oh, like that. Yeah. <laughs> we should find a uh, vehicle. Yes. Oh, son Michael is asking us the hardest question. If you could combine, if you could combine two things into a weapon, what would that be? Hmm. I have no clue. I think we'll maybe do a mini gun morning star. Or a be pretty fucking awesome. Bread toaster umbrella. A what? Bread toaster and umbrella. What the fuck would you use that for? Toaster faces. That is the most stupid idea I've ever heard. I feel like it would be very fitting for this game. Oh yeah, probably. What two uh, items would you combine into a weapon if you could? Please let us know in the comment okay. section. Uh, Litman is saying, uh, you've gotten your Xbox One from Germany. That is correct. Because you can't get them in Denmark and other European countries. Uh, what changes will there be to the Danish Nordic version of? What we're seeing in the menu right now is that we have uh, the US store, which is uh, the one that makes the most sense. Uh, it is a plus if you would ever just consider and continue using it, because the games are cheaper. Um, but uh, what some of the main differences are, of course, the apps. Right now there's uh, Hulu, for example, the video app, and uh, and of course American versions of Netflix, etc. But um, that's pretty much it. They have a lot of different apps, which is the main difference. Um, in the Danish one, you're just going to get, or European and Scandinavian one, you're just going to get apps like Media Play and, and other apps. So um, that's pretty much the difference. Also, another difference is the whole uh, TV part of things. Yeah, that is true. So, like, the, the TV guide will be adapted to the Danish uh, yeah, version. Yeah, obviously. Or so. whatever country you're in. So, um, hello, Anna. Do I look like an idiot with my dragon head? Don't look at me. You know, you can come with me now if you want. Okay. But don't be thinking you're gonna get it. <laughs> Philip Rasmussen is saying, it's like Just Cause 2 meets worst zombie movie ever. That is actually pretty spot on. <laughs> but it, it is still funny though. At least somewhat funny. But I don't know. I'm one of the Left 4 Dead kind of guys. I just love Left 4 Dead. And it's hard for me to, to probably ever, ever gonna enjoy a zombie game as much as... Uh, Look at her, she's floating. <laughs> the dragon is pushing you, baby. How many seats are in that car? Oh, crap. <laughs> Lost you know, saying this has to be the best weapon in any dead life you do. Are you talking about my freakishly awesome dragon costume? I want to figure out how the hell I... Oh no, is she taking my seat? No worries, I'll just stand here. Let's go. I'm gonna fight in stance. And some banishing, he would combine a boomerang and a chainsaw. 
That sounds pretty fucking awesome. Yes, it does. You have to wait for me. This is stupid. I'll try and clear a path. Thank you, thank you. I, I, don't, I don't think the zombies are stupid enough to. I think they're so smart that they wouldn't attack you fucking with running the dragon Seems like. Oh shit! Then where are you going? Do you even know where you're going yourself? Yes. Well, let's go. Just go to the, the yellow one. Philip Rasmus is saying Left 4 Dead is the best game ever. Yes, it is to me the best zombie game ever made. Also better than Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 1 was just so fucking amazing. Mm. Absolutely love it. My guy's pretty just hired. I think, I think I'll just try and see if I can just, you know, throw her off at the main place. Yeah, just fucking stab her to just death. ditch her. Oh, there's a big car. I'm just running around, hopeless. Helpless yes. in my little faggoty dragon costume. Oh, please don't hurt me, sir. I have an SUV now. Okay. okay. Pick you up. Perfect. Clax would like to combine a briefcase and a chainsaw, so I would get a chain case. That's a pretty good idea. I like that. Or a case saw. Oh, what's cracking with the SUV, man? Now I can get a ride. But the graphics are not stunning. I mean, if if this would have been on uh, Xbox 360 and I wouldn't have been told, um, I would probably believe it. But where it steps up is obviously in uh, the amount of shit happening mm. on the screen at once. That is where it shines. Um, as you can see, there's absolutely no lag when playing, even though there's a million zombies doing their own thing in the game. Ah. Matthias Lindenmeyer is saying NBA 2K14 next time. Well, yeah, maybe. Philip is saying, Philip Rasmussen, you should put some line on you and have you floating after the car like a kite. That would be fucking awesome. I would have loved that. <laughs> it looked retarded, the dragon costume. But okay, I picked up firecrackers, so somehow it must be able for me to fire crackers out of the thing on my back. I don't know how yet. I've pushed a lot of buttons. William Hokanson, what do you guys think makes the best value console, future games, apps, quality and so forth? I think if you want an entertainment system and a video game console, I would probably say the Xbox One. If all you want is a good gaming experience and a Blu-ray player, even though the Xbox has that as well, well then you should buy the PS4. I really, why should people buy a PS4 over games. the Xbox One? Exclusive games? Games and the, the improved share functionality. Yeah. Twitch will come to the Xbox One, but we don't know, we don't know when. No. Um, there is a Twitch app, so you can watch streams. Mm. But I think the whole sharing part is a lot stronger on the PlayStation, at least right now. Yeah. That is true. If you want to be a Twitch star and stream all your gameplay, well, then you have to go for the PS4 right now. And as always, as we talked about, figure out what your friends are playing. If you want to play multiplayer with your buddies, figure out what they're using. That's what I did as a young kid growing up. Probably what I would do today if I had to play games with my buddies. I mostly play alone though. Because I am forever alone. But, uh, because you don't have any friends. <laughs> exactly, I'm friendless. It's so fucking sad. Uh, that's probably what I would do. Hope that was a good answer to your question, William Hawkinson. See what you can do, kiddo. Kiddo. Why did she just call us kiddo? And why are you wearing that knight's armor? Why not? Hmm, that's true. Huh. To combo two vehicles. Okay, that's Don't fucking awesome. Funny. Are you gonna do it? Should I move away? Do, 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 do. Yes, yes, please. I like that. What are you fixing for us, Seth? Oh, this is gonna be retarded, I love it. But that's probably where this game wins a whole lot. If you're a die-hard zombie Left 4 Dead fan like I am, 
Well, then you're going to be mildly entertained as well because it is just retarded. Um, and if you like Saints Row and those kind of games, well, mix them up together and then you have this game, pretty much. And I kind of like how, how his armor was moving, even though it's supposed to be metal. Yeah. That is stupid. Stretching. Simon Blala Kalalala would also like to see NBA 2K14. And Anton Banna is saying, How are you able to customize your character in co op? Well, you pretty much just pick up random shit uh, as you go along. Am I driving on you? I think I am. Oops, not very well. That roadblock wasn't there before. It's telling me that I can control this turret. But the turret pretty much just has its own life. Its own life. That's okay. <laughs> I, I I think I control the turret. Well, who the hell is controlling the car? I am. Well, that's a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Try pushing X. Well, yeah, you are. Try Y. That's like the ultimate shooting car. That one oh, was. slicers. And some banners saying how you're able to customize your character. Uh, and I don't know if you want to see the probably, but you pretty much just pick up stuff that you find. I found sunglasses before in the single day, just put them on and look all flashy. And that's pretty much how it works. I don't know what to think about this game. It, 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 it's entertaining and stupid, and it's probably gonna, gonna make you smile a bit. But uh, if you're looking for just a crazy good zombie game, like a lot of other games, well then. Uh, this is probably not it, but it is really entertaining though, so far. I have fun anyway, at least. But I don't really understand how we're supposed to get over there. No. And some banner is claiming that that car is the best. No, it's a beast. The best, I don't know what you're saying. It is a beast, and maybe it's the best beast. Leonard, get me to my point of action. Trying. This is so boring for me. Just Sorry. to let you guys know what's happening. Leonard is, he's been allowed to drive the car. And also, Leonard is the one steering the turret. Now it's telling me, hey, you can steer the turret. No, I can't. Liar. Lying game. Goddamn liars. That sucks. So sad. Should we save some of these? No. Please don't tell me you save people. Unless of course it's the mission. Side Investigate mission. the sand gardens, clear zombies around the survivors. You have to clear the zombies. You have to That's a side the mission. Oh sorry. I just got excited because right now the controller is just on the table. Seeing as I can't do shit. Ooh. There's something you can drive up. There. Let us know if you have any questions about the game or uh, the Xbox One thing that we're sitting and losing right now. Let us know in the comments if you can blow up these in English, seeing as uh, there's a lot of people from other countries maybe watching. I know where we have Clax. He's from California. At least that's what he's talking Go for the jump, Chris. <laughs> so that was very popular. Yes. Lit man is saying it seems easy in the car. Yeah, it's pretty easy. And I think it would make sense to turn up the difficulty because from what we've played so far, it doesn't seem very hard. And of course, we're not that far in the game, so uh, it might come with time. Yeah. That is true. But the thing is basically that you have the single player part, but the single player part is also the co op. Uh, which which you can either love or hate. We think it's pretty cool. If, if, if the game works great and it's built to be fun to play with, well then it is great. Right now it's not that great, seeing as I can't do shit. Just sitting there, the then it was having all the fun. But, but still, um, uh oh. Am I exiting the corner? Oh, I can get out of this back. I feel like a gimp. Doing all the deal. Oh, you are a gimp. Oh. This do is going to be y. the Just slowest y. zombie oh. ever. If you do the... you will put it on its head. Do the what? If you do the heart attack. The, the Y. Which you put when you're attacking. Oh, he puts it on the zombie. Yes. Cool, we have to try that. Are you not entertained? 
No. Oh, did you just do that, you stupid girl? Do what? She just jumped over a fence instead of just running next to it. Oh, oh AI. <laughs> oh, is there somebody I can put this on? Yes. Hello, friend. Would you like a new hat? He didn't put it on his head. Oh, he did for me. Oh, how disappointing. Ooh, flare gun. Yes! <laughs> oh, that is so stupid. Oh, shit. Shot with a flare. Over here! We're coming! Boom. Stupid, stupid. Yeah. Leonard, come here. I'm gonna open the door. Yes, ma'am. Can you enter, and some banner would like to know, can you enter every uh, vehicle you meet on your way? Like the trucks and garbage trucks? No. Only the one that works. Exactly. So there will be cars that works and cars that doesn't work. Uh, so it's pretty much just running up to the door, seeing if, if you can well, use it. Well, the ones that works are going to work. Okay, cool. So you would know instantly. Oh no, a bicycle, motor bicycle. Marauders. Oh no, take the woman, we don't need her. Yes, 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 it's a deal, take her. We have no issue with this. Have your way with her, sir. You're so evil. <laughs> That's something we should probably mention. When I play video games, I'm always the evilest bastard possible. And you're just a good guy. Yes. Just playing the game, I want to save people. Good cop, bad cop. Exactly, it's a, it's a good co-op matchup, seeing as I just want to kill everyone around me. The only game that ever made me play as me, and not just as the inner douchebag that I am, is The Walking Dead. From Telltale Games. Why the hell are you cutting me? Sorry. What's it now, smartass? Got a big shield? Okay, so now I can show you the salt though. Hey, yeah. don't shoot me. I'm sorry, there's some tension. And what you see is that this is gonna run out of ammo. And he's bare chest, but he can just absorb bullets. And there you go, it died. Which makes no sense. As an automatic rifle. Oh, that is doing his thing now. Good job. Thanks. I'm standing like the redneck samurai. Come here, man. Oh, thanks. Oh. Oh no. I want to slice one. That that guy's just gonna I'm gonna slice someone with his sword. Okay, you can take a punch. Or a slice. William Hawkinson is asking, uh, are you guys looking forward to Watch Dogs? Yes, hell yes. Or has your sight on future games changed? Well, no, we're, we are like, we saw uh, Watch Dogs uh, on a previous press tip trip. Not that long ago, we were in uh, Paris and played it with their companion app, which worked out pretty well. It was fun to play with the companion app um, when, you, uh, when you're sitting next to the other guy. So, I don't know, Watch Dogs was really, really good. And I absolutely can't wait. To play, but then we're just looking forward to games. I want to play games like The Division as well. Then we just play the game. Well, the game is just like bug right there. Are you shooting at me, sir? Ooh, Molotov. <laughs> I will save you, Leonard! Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, at least he died, I guess. How many are there? I don't know, but we have to kill them all. What's up, I'm gonna kill you. William Hawkinson is asking, is Nicholas, on a scale from 1 to 10, how much are you looking forward to The Walking Dead Game Season 2? I'm a huge fan and I cried during the last part, how about you? 
As I've told you before, this is the only game in the world so far that's made me play as me as I would if this happened probably to me in real life. Uh, but as Philip is saying in the comment below, I do cry all the time. So <laughs> that's an issue. I'm really afraid and scared all the time. I cry like a little baby. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably cry the instant it comes on and I see Clementine's little innocent face to start weeping right away. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh, the boss is coming. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we just killed his friends. What do we have here? Some fresh meat. What about it, boy? Is this a tasty treat or what? That flicker in the mind's room. No pesky military. No pesky, no pesky police, police left anywhere But no, I am looking city. very much forward to the work in Dead Game Season 2. Absolutely can't wait. Just, our own, just to answer the question probably. Our own private little island. I think we should just calm down, man. <laughs> Patrick Cullerton is asking us what country our Xbox One is set to right now, seeing as the Irish one that's been rumored uh, that you can't use voice control. Um, well, we're on the US version right now, and uh, that works perfectly fine. Yes. That's a banner asking how is it to drive in the game, how is the handling and stuff? Um, I don't know. It's, it is with, like all games, where you can uh, drive and it's not really the main thing in the game. It's, it's kind of like that, you know what I mean? It's not really good, but it works okay enough for you to not really think about it. I guess that's pretty much where we're at. I think we have to drive up into the ass of this guy. You can also you can hit him with a Molotov. No, no, I'm just gonna ram him. Right at his butt. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. What's up now, motherfucker? Hit him with a Molotov cocktail. And then you hit yourself. And him. I want that bike because that is so much more badass than the sedan on the It's also still a small small thing. What's up, motherfucker? Oh, really? No! Ouch. I hope it kills you. Almost. Well, I hope he is. Thanks. That's not gonna be a lot of help. My car is gonna die soon. Lena, what are you doing over there? Eating. Mm, I'm dying. That was a pretty effective hit there. Oh shit! Oh shit! Are you in trouble? I think I was pretty lucky. I think I need a vehicle. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. I think I have to see if I can use this bus. Ricky Mora is saying it's hard to hear what we're saying. Could you turn down the in-game volume just a tad? Done. I cannot use the bus. But I can use this SUV. The gang leader's health is uh, dropping, as you can see. Let's kill this garland. Let's do this. I'm so close to killing him. Lennon, I think you need a car. Is it even doing damage, what you're doing? Yes. Okay, Damn it, come on. Boom! I killed him. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I grappled him. No, 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 I killed him. I'm sure I killed him. <laughs> you probably did. Yes. He's gonna have a bad day. Lost you know is saying, why is it that every psychopath is a trimmed motherfucker? That spends 40 plus hours in the gym every day. Bane much. Oh, yeah, you're right. They always look awesomely fit. And for some reason, always have a mohawk. I'm not talking to you, Oh, oh, he's very. Oh, that was you, Leonard. Oh, you can make me proud, son. 
Let us know if the sound is fixed. You said you had a hard time hearing us. I don't know if it was because of the in-game sound. If not, let us know what is wrong and we'll try to fix it. Hey, oh, he's wrong, not so happy. He's never killed anyone before. You know? Aww. I've, I've killed zombies. But they're already dead, right? Look at me, Dick, in the background. He doesn't care. Dick doesn't care about shit. Something else I could have done. You had to do it. Boom. Well, there you go. That was chapter one, and I think that is probably where we're gonna end off in our Dead Rising 3 live stream. Yes. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed watching the stream. I know we enjoyed playing. And uh, remember to stay tuned tomorrow. It's probably going to be at 8. Maybe, if you guys are lucky, we're going to start off by s at 7. Just Maybe. to uh, please the f football watching crowd. Uh, is there any final questions before we end this Dead Rising 3 stream on the Xbox One? Let us know right now. We have a minute's delay, so we have to fish a little bit and just wait until we see if any um, questions pop in. Um, Joachim Lipman is saying, is there a mode like Terror? Like Ter Terror is reality. Yeah, from uh, Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 3. I thought it was hilarious to play those minigames with my friends. I'm not sure. No, we haven't really browse the game 100% through, seeing as this is just a live stream and not a review. We haven't seen all the features in the game so far, so we have to uh, be able to answer your questions. We have to answer your questions later on, when we know, because right now we don't know. Ricky Mura is saying, your final, ver final verdict on the game and why, Leonard? Very entertaining, it has some minor issues, but overall very entertaining. Yeah, I think um, I have to agree. Uh, it is it is just a uh, crazy, crazy, quirky, weird, messed up in the head zombie game. But it's not going to be an immersive, very, very good zombie experience like, for example, Left 4 Dead. I know we talked about it a lot, but it's not going to be like that. But if you just enjoy having fun and you like to customize shit and you like slicing zombies and not really giving it a lot of thought, well, then this game is for you. And that doesn't matter. I don't mind that at all because I actually like that. But um, it was probably what I expected. It was just good, wholesome zombie entertainment with uh, some weird twists. But um, I'm not liking the story too much. I think it's, it seems kind of vague. But I guess that's not why you're playing the game. No, I mean, like, this, this game is all about the, the wacky gameplay and all of customizing some crazy weapons and just killing a shit ton of zombies. Yeah. That's what it. What that's what it's about. Yeah, and this is a game that you should play in co-op. Seeing yes. as the entire single-player game is also the co-op experience, so be sure to unlock that co-op experience instantly. You unlock it when you finish what we did in the beginning. I did alone, where you drive the car and get the people to the safe zone. From there, you can play co-op, and you have to do that because that just makes it so much more fun. And in these days, we are lacking good co-op games, especially in uh, this genre. So. Uh, this is a co-op must. That is probably my final verdict. I agree. Yep. I agree too. Jakob Ruhm is saying, very good, Leonard. Very good yourself. Just change the D to a T and I'm happy. Oh, <laughs> beef. Name beef. Spelling beef. William Hawkins is saying, could you say goodbye in Danish? Fabel. Fabel. That was it. Hope you're happy. Now we're just sitting here pleasing all of you as you like. We are going to end the stream now. Please let us know in the comment section below what you think about the stream. Should we stream more? What should we stream? And if you liked it in general, remember to like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here on Pixel TV. I Press think that's going to sum it up. Press it's it. right up there, man. It's right up there. Press it and link it to your friends. Tell them to press it. Tell your mother to press it or we'll press your mother. Have a good night. <laughs>